southeastern Robeson County, western Columbus County, until 1 p.m. At 12.05 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Britain Neck, or about 14 miles northwest of Conway, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Some locations in the warning include Gallivan's Ferry, Gapway, Mullins, Greensea, Cherry Grove, Clarendon, Dutton, get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Seek shelter on the lowest floor of the building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and always stay away from windows. If in mobile homes or vehicles, evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other low spot and cover your head with your hands. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Saturday evening for Southeast North Carolina and Northeast South Carolina. Please report hail, down trees or damaging winds to the neck. We've not seen an event like this since, as you remember, I think it was in March of uh, 1984 when we had the tornadoes come through. Um, what was significant about this is the pop populated areas that it did hit, and it's affected a lot of people.
In Fayetteville, a neighborhood in the dark. Thousands of homes are still without power and police are on patrol after reports of looting. Officers are requiring homeowners in hard-hit neighborhoods to get special ID cards to get them through checkpoints. Many residents here are counting their blessings, including one minister who saw the tornado skip over his house. I can see the, the trees snapping off. I seen the house they, they when it exploded. I, I seen the trees snapping off. And, and the house they, exploded. Right. The trees that look like matchsticks. Others weren't so lucky. Disaster. Mess. Just totally speechless. The cleanup costs are in the tens of millions. Some families will have to start over. But homeowners say their neighbors and strangers are pitching in. Everybody was going to neighbor to neighbor making sure everybody's okay. But then within how you know, within hours of that, people were just showing up out of you know, miles away. Just what can we do? What can we do? Forced to find a way to rebuild, many are just happy to be alive after a weekend of terror. Over 1,000 tornadoes are reported each year. Would you know what to do if one was in your area? Hi, I'm Sarah Evans with a reminder from the American Red Cross to help yourself and your family be prepared before disaster strikes. Pick a safe place in your home where family members can gather during a tornado. Assemble a disaster supplies kit and conduct periodic tornado drills to practice. To learn more, contact your local American Red Cross chapter or visit www.redcross.org today. Thank you.